This Week in Action. Xenomorph may be involved. Could be something. Talk to the developers. Or are you playing with my emotions? Let's get sad and then No good to be true. That's not what they did here. When's the money going? What other horror stories can come with this? We love Tencent. Hello, everyone, and welcome to This Week in Action Podcast 24. My name is Aaron, owner and operator of the YouTube channel Action RPG, and tonight we have another stellar show for you. With me, as always, is two of my friends, two of my leaders, two of my moderators, Daft and Guilty. Say hello, and you can now see their names on the screen. <laughs> How's it going, guys? hey -o. So, we're going to jump right into this. Thank you all for being here. Yesterday, I put up a survey, a poll on my YouTube. And the poll, it's something that's been on my mind a lot because of Diablo Immortal. And I know it's been going on for a really long time, but Diablo Immortal, I feel like something in my life to shoot for. And that is the takedown of predatory microtransactions. Whatever I could do with my little YouTube channel and this podcast to make people not spend money on this crap I'm going to do. That being said, the poll was pretty simple. It said, I need feedback. Given these options, what would you pick? Option number one, $60 game, no MTX of any kind. So option number one, 60 bucks, no MTX. Option number two, $30 game, MTX cash shop, but only cosmetics, and that will never change. So whether that's spell, cosmetics, armors, you could change the way you look, all right? But the game is cut in half. And the last option, third option, would be free game, but anything goes. Okay, anything goes. Daft, I'm going to give this one to you first. What would you pick? I had to pick one of the two. I'd probably go with... In the current game, like, industry, how it's run, probably the second one. So the ability to buy it at a lower cost, and if you want to tinker with the looks, doing that. Primarily, though, it would have been the first, because I kind of grew up a lot of those. So, but I could lean towards the second ones, because after you play a game or grind it for a while, sometimes it's cool to kind of change it up or stuff like that, how it looks, and you can change it over time. So I'll lean to that one. Okay, Personally. guilty. One, uh, two, or three. You want that? Anything goes. Come on, be honest. I anything goes as long as it's like not. So, but that's not anything. As long goes. I, I view the way certain monetization <laughs> systems work as removing someone's uh, choice, like the like through addiction they don't have the choice. Um, so if you didn't have that system, then anything should go. But um, I think the $60 thing flat out, and if you release a, a DLC that you spent four years making 10 years later or whatever, like what was it Titan Quest did? Like 20 years after, there's a, a more, more DLC coming out. That's Grim Dawn. Funny. Grim Dawn Good is another one, but uh, uh, there's, a, there's a bunch of them. Um, yeah. Didn't the Inquisitor have like, Inquisitor's on Martyr now, right? Was that, but that was a free up, that was a free upgrade. I, I don't know. Aaron probably know a little bit more about that series. I do know a lot about Inquisitor. Uh, guilty. Hold on a second. You're saying option one or three? Uh, wait, wait. Let me mostly hold on. option one uh, because like with three that that you know you have the MTX and microtransactions transactions and all that. I don't think that should be in there. But I don't think a, a full fledged DLC that adds a significant amount of gameplay uh, should be free. So. so Okay. Fair. So right now, Hoser and Psycho in chat are both saying B or option two, which is $30 game, only cosmetic cash shop. So right. I feel like I've actually learned from this poll, learned from this survey, because I've been reading the comments of how people feel about it. And it's actually opened my eyes a little bit. So for, first off, option one, or A, $60 game, no MTX, won the poll. Right now it's a majority at 51% of 600 votes picked that, okay? Option two, B, is coming in at 43%, and then there's 6% that say free game. Now, 
This is what people say about option B. They feel like game studios, developers, will make characters look like crap, which then forces you to spend money to look cool. Now that I am not okay with. If the actual idea is the generic, you don't spend money, your character's always gonna look like crap, right? Because, you know, there's something to be said. I always, I use the same example all the time. It's like Diablo 2, you're, an, you're Javazon and you find a Titan's Revenge. You know when you're running around with that javelin, everybody knows what it is. You know, it's something to be said about you found this awesome item. That item is now on you and people associate that item you're wearing with your character, right? I've always said that character okay. creation in ARPGs, you know, it, who cares? Like you are your gear, really. <laughs> it's isometric view. Right. You can't see your face. Half the time you don't even know what gender it is. The point I'm saying is like you really are your gear in these games. And that's why the cosmetics are like this floating sword or this bleeding armor, right? Because that's right. really all you can see. So I was leaning a lot towards option two, B, because I like the idea of having a game cut in half, which means more people are going to be able to afford it. And, you know, you can't right. buy you can't buy power, right? You want to spend the money and look cool. Great. You don't want to spend the money. Who cares? Everybody's still on an even playing field. The more I think I about it, the, the more the more I think about right. it, option one, a sixty dollar game, all inclusive, everything comes with it, nothing has to be purchased, sounds pretty good. And then yeah. exactly you monetize it through DLCs, actual like content huge chunks of game. Yeah. Huge chunks of yeah. huge chunks of game. Daft, what yeah, are your thoughts some... on that? Well, as far as that goes, that's kind of what Grim Dawn's done. Um, it's where they've there's Titan been Quest some. Titan, well, I'm just saying as 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 an example, but Titan Quest as well. You're right. Um, it it's kept me playing the same game for years and years. Um, they they space out the DLC. It's not like they throw it at you like right you know before the game releases or anything. It's years down the line, so you have that. Um, and there was some free stuff in the middle. It did, you know the yeah, exactly. So they'd give you weapons and all this other stuff, but then the content areas obviously were a little, they, they were small chunks, but well, overall, I think that's a very fair system because you're never feeling compelled to spend money randomly. Well, Destiny 2, uh, they took the whole free to play route. They went free to play. Uh, you get like the base, I guess, version of the game. Um, right. You get MTX. That you can, and they also have the affiliate program through, um, you know, Twitch Prime. You get free stuff from Twitch Prime, and there's probably drops elsewhere. Whatever, but they've done, they've done the full reign of stuff. Plus, you have to buy the LC. Yeah. Um, it's a little heavy. So it's like, mm. but that, I, I uh, in this this week's blog post, I actually addressed that. I'm like, well, we've been buying a sixty dollar game, buying DLC, buying microtransactions, buy we've been doing it all, and we've been <laughs> willing to do it. So it, yeah. it was, that's what we do. And it feels weird because you look at Lost Ark; it's a free to play game. Anybody could play it. How many people that joined our guild at the beginning did not buy one of the initial packs? Uh, no, it, it was I a requirement. Think... So we could all hop in early. Right. I think everybody, yeah. Was there a single person that's basic. like, hey, I can't play it because I didn't get the early? Nobody. I no. don't think it was like because it was a, the uh, 15 bucks plus captain was given a free out um, free ones out in his streams. You were too. Right. Like we pretty much took care of if anyone didn't have it, we took care of them. Pretty much. Yeah. I don't know. OK, so we talked about this a little bit before the stream. What about 13 year old, 14 year old? Actually, I forget the age. A young person. Actually, forget that. Somebody that doesn't have money, that wants to play the latest game, but they can't afford the $30 or the $60, and they don't give a crap about predatory microtransactions. The whales can have that. I'm not going to spend the money on that, anyways, but I would like to see what the next isometric MMO is like in Lost Ark. I want to see what this five-year development Diablo Immortal is. I want to play these games, and right. I would love to experience that without spending money. I mean, oh, yeah. The naive point of view, basically, 
it just I have no connection to reality and don't care. Um, yeah, I mean that's a that, that is a group. Yeah, my son, that, my son would call into that. Exists. that. that group it, exists. It, it it's a thing. So the the worry though is the how predatory is it and how does it get you there? And that's kind of like what immortal kind of like um, brought up a bit. Right. It just kind of re re reignited that that kind of thought like what is too much pressure what is like and it's mostly in that game it's just peer pressure to keep up yep or finish whatever uh, um why? i don't know yeah i was having well, a discussion you- yeah i was having a discussion every once in a while you know you like back and forth in the comment sections on youtube and it was it was a great conversation but somebody was like i don't know why anybody in their right mind would ever pre-order a game you're giving them the money before they've proved themselves I always wait to buy the game because I want to see the reviews. I want to watch gameplay. I want to see maybe the first boss and then through, you know, the streamers I trust, through the reviewers, through the Steam, then maybe I will grab it. And what I said is that totally get that. That's fair. You know, you don't want to get burned like Wilson, right? Everyone just jumps on the next shiny thing. But I feel like what happens is you're afraid to fall behind. Right. If you're playing with an actual community, you're playing with a group of friends. It's like, dude, I got to get that early access. I got to play day one. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to preload the game. So the second the server goes live, you know, because you don't want to be that. Oh, like you guys are already on act two. Well, I'm on act one. You guys are already combat rating this and I'm that, you know, it creates unnecessary tension with the players. Yes. Like attention is not the right word, probably, but it is attention. You're like feel either if you're ahead you're waiting and if you're the one behind you're, you're pushing you know it's just gotta keep up with the, the joneses mindset. and yeah, then it, it, since um, that predatory yeah. shop's available oh i'm behind i got it i gotta catch up how else can i do it yeah. i got paid this week i can i could throw in 30 bucks it's you okay. you it's know that question, happens though. yeah so exactly. what if this shop existed okay and was yeah. not predatory you know, that there's that's a thing you, there, there's a wh- one could argue that um lost ark's not quite no as i agree, I as agree. As it's, to be. it's uh, not predatory it's not really more convenience uh, if you want to use it type thing. well see they put a cap on what you can buy that too yeah so you know <laughs> well i mean i don't know it's funny because talking about lost ark it's like oh yeah lost ark's great because compared to diablo immortal it's great it's still freaking bad though because, you know, it's not like it's, bad, it's, it's not predatory as in like, I'm going to give it a hundred bucks and I don't know. No, 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 I, 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 I don't know what I'm going to get in return. It's more I'm going to give it a hundred bucks. It's going to give me these materials. I'm going to mm-hmm. then go to this place where I see this red cloud go off 12 times. I'm going to get <laughs> right. freaking furious. And instead of being see. mad at the developers of the game, I'm going to go back and I'm going to give them more money. So it's like Aaron, for me, I didn't have that because I put myself at like, you know, how when you go, maybe when you go to the gambling or whatever, you kind of give yourself daily limits. Like, of course. OK, today, 100 bucks is my like whatever. Um, I did that with Lost Ark and how I played it. So I didn't ever put that stress on me myself. I just played as much. And then at the end of the week would try all my honings and everything. But during the week, I just didn't get in that like mindset of win lose well, win lose 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 win lose. Yeah, it, that was too much at, at some point i changed it and it worked out better be competitive in lost ark without you know because they right. in, in uh pvp it's you know yeah even playing field um versus yeah, some of our members the direct did PvP, opposite they did in, in diablo immortal it's it's just you know it is what it is but yeah <laughs> that's the difference between the two it's like one of them i find it should be reasonable and the other is <laughs> but Daft, yeah, don't you think reasonable? <laughs> but Daft, don't you think it's a little weird that even in your example, you are going into Lost Ark the way you would enter a casino? Think about what you just said for a second. Oh, I know. You're literally. You, I I can't spend as much as you know. Like you're limiting. You're your having. T- well, I meant not. I didn't mean spending. I, I know I what you mean. The 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 actual in game rolling. Because it was either awesome or you felt like crap because you just put all this, you know, you wasted everything. So that part I limited. I didn't 
like the only time I put money into Lost Ark was when we bought the pre-packs. That was it. Um, and I did fine. I wasn't trying to push as hard. I didn't play as much as like as well as some of the players did. So I didn't keep up. But early on, it was pretty even. And then they just pulled away. But, you know, people had different. Um, or at least I had a different um, willingness to go through that torture as it got harder and harder. I just kind of pushed yeah. off into the side stuff like collecting and the side. And I think you, like E-Way, you know, you guys wanted to get every Makoko seed and you wanted to right. explore and you wanted to really break down the story so for yep. me i really didn't do that gathering part but i did do every side quest you know like people play you did <laughs> people play different you know different right. ways um and but it was still like oh can this person play with us nope they're not strong enough oh then right. let's lower it that was bad you know that stuff yeah. sucks and i think the whole capping everything off oh you ran this once already this week that was a yeah it's a, it's, it's a thing yeah not my favorite uh oh. it's no one's favorite Right. Um, um, but the but fact it made that a lot of money. Option. Oh, yeah, it still does. Because there's a lot of stuff to do. Like We're in a game like that. Immortal. You didn't. That wasn't the meta of the game. You just tried to finish, tried to gear out. So you didn't have an option to go side quests and do other things. So there's really no reason to think you could do that. So you're constantly thinking grind, grind, grind. So. Question. Uh, yeah. Do we. Uh, I personally only know the story of games that I played multiple times because um, I'm playing the game. I'm not watching a movie. Uh, I don't right. cinematics don't, you know, I watch them once if they're, you know, nice looking. But uh, yep. we pretty much just run through and try to get to the, the actual to the actual what I view the actual game is. I mean, like the whole game is actually the actual game, but um, I guess free of tether, free of um, this is where you have to go next. This is what you have to do next. This is what you have to do. Go pick that up. Getting all that stuff out of the way so I can be free to play the game. Because all, all the fetch quests and all that. Eh. Eh. Yeah, I think it's just a yeah, it's a preference thing, though. I I didn't for me personally, doing those was fine because I didn't constantly want to be like in high action mode, like constant, you know, having to go through my combos and do I didn't. That was fun. But for me, I like a little bit of the mixture. So that's probably why for me it was fine because so i play all different types of games where like building games where you're or where you games like Rimworld, where you're just building a colony and watching ants run around and you know directing them and you just sit there you don't engage really so well not to get totally off topic but to guilty's yeah. point sometimes that's why i like playing rogues it feels like a game where you're just like it's like you're straight to end game right right you don't have to go through all this crap you got this character, push as far as you can. You're going to get all the gear. You're going to get all the best stuff. There's not really tiered and you're just going to see. And it's like, and it's a, it's a skill, right? It's not a repetition. Like you have to put the turrets in the right place and pick the right, right. you know, like I feel like that's why rogues are so much so popular because it's that instant end game. Well, it's, it's more microwave style game versus cooking. Like, when you cook eight hours to make a pot of beans or you microwave a pot of beans, you know, or a cup for like two minutes. It's the difference of the two. This one gets you satisfaction. So the roguelikes, which are cool. Um, like you say, you encompass it usually in one session, like the a, a game, all the highs and lows of it. So. So are you guys one familiar of my favorite. with yeah. the Binding of Isaac? A little bit. No. OK. Uh, Gabriel, Cecilia's brother, has 500 hours in that okay. game on the Nintendo Switch. Oh, really? I didn't know it was on the Switch. <laughs> no, it's yeah. on the Switch, and it's it's a you know, it's a rogue. It's one of the yeah. best rogues. It's it's really good. Aaron, if you haven't played it, play it. Um, 500 hours on the little that little screen. Yeah, I can't. It's, it's people play them. Yeah. They should. They're they're well, great games. OK, Steam Deck, though, it's the same thing. Daft. Yes. Yeah. 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 Bigger yes, screen on Steam Deck. Daft, it? do me a favor. Get caught up on chat. See if we've missed anything. So it looks like some good stuff's in there. I have a question right. for Guilty. OK, hey, what's up? Quick. What about so that option one? So in case anybody missed it, what we're discussing is a survey, a poll I put up on my YouTube channel. Option mm -hmm. one was $60 game, no MTX. Option two, $30 game, only cosmetic MTX. And option three is free game, anything goes. So this is what we're talking about right now. 
So guilty, and I'm gonna use last epoch. Okay, because everyone knows it's my favorite. It's the background of the okay. okay. Last epoch says they don't want to do DLCs. And just so you know, they're a thirty-dollar game, only gonna have cosmetic cash shop. The reason why they don't want DLCs is because they say they never want to break up the gaming community, which means, hey, right. I got the DLC. Oh, guilty, you didn't get the DLC, so now we can't play together because we're not compatible because it breaks apart communities. So uh, all of their future, all of their future content will not be DLCs. It'll be free since it's a paid game and they're going to monetize it through cosmetics. Guilty cosmetics. thoughts. Uh, so the POE is king of the mountain. It's a free game. It is free. I gave it. I have given them money because I, I felt that they made a quality product and that they, you know, they certainly sold. They sold me a product. I gave them the money. That's what it was. Um, but given that I've paid for last epoch, uh, and I mean that gets into the NFT thing. Like essentially, you're you're paying for an NFT that you don't own when you buy MTX. <laughs> <laughs> oh no but those are so but those that's a that's investment that's a great investment you know oh no i i i i don't think it is but uh people can right. do whatever they want um but in this case it's an it's an nft that you don't actually own that's did it hurt I, grim dawn that they chose to go dlcs and break up the community with what three different ones no there's still okay uh grim dawn has more concurrent players than last epoch uh they're what five six seven years old now something like that um still still having decent steady numbers of players um, i think it's six years i think it's six years yeah six years yeah um people want a second game also their their dlc was very large it wasn't like small chunks of it was full-on content but i'm not so. talking about the quality of grim dawn i'm not talking about how good the dlcs are do you think it's better if Grim Dawn gave all of that content for free, but had right, I don't think a it's feasible. but had a shop that they would monetize instead, you hear what I'm saying? Yeah, I I, I don't think it's like unless they're doing some like Poe six hundred dollars skin things, which again that is another type of division because now you have you know look at my shiny Gucci bag, so you've just in, uh, brought real world uh, division into your game that way um status division yeah um <clears throat> so either way you know when you try to engineer things you can only do so much in, in this particular case by regulating that system they just brought in a new system that already existed from outside good job <laughs> daft what do you got in chat okay all right so there was a couple people majority of the people at least uh, commented picked b as their choice of game okay um Psychomatic went on to say he basically likes the full price up front and doesn't mind paying for content down the line. Okay. Uh, let's see. Also, Migs brought up whales and devs understand whales, so they'll try to pull them into their game if they can. Yep. You know, to get some extra money. Uh, Raylith dropped Lost Ark after about 250 hours, lost his... It just didn't feel fun anymore for him. Repetitive. Uh, yeah. We made it. Let's four, see what else plus was hours each. here. Grim Dawn was got a couple of nods from the community. Of course. That, that's the general the general gist throughout. They're all mm -hmm. talking about bits and pieces while we're talking about it. But yeah. But overall, everybody's kind of in the middle where they want the, the, the game with the option. And then <laughs> uh, a few want the full price so uh, with dlc jack nine crow the quality of grim dawn just the main game is why it's more popular than le let's not talk about that le is still early in development you know it's only been around what right. a couple months it's only been around five years no <laughs> three three years mm. three four something like that 2018 uh, right was le first like 2018 yeah. was it is that when the Kickstarter so. went up? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, it's only been four months, four years. Whatever it is, I can't. It's been a while. 
They've been steady. They just, for me, the only thing they did bad for LA devs is sometimes they would release a little too much and then get everybody all antsy. Okay. Maybe oh. kept their lips sealed a little bit. Um, Psychomatic brings up a good point. Wilson, what about Wilson? They offered you a uh, premium campaign. And then they really did give multiple end games like they said they would. They just but... end games. I got um, two but, comments today on YouTube that said hmm. Wilson did not have a cash shop. It was a $40 game. There was nothing predatory in it. Right. Like, what do you think of that? And they did offer multiple updates it, and patches. No DLCs. It did. was always free. I, I think that's pretty it's on. Like, they just died as a development team, though. They didn't really... Uh, do anything beyond that the game was gorgeous coming out of the box so if you know, wilson you could have fixed stuff. bugs and hired it would have been communications manager yeah, PR guy? Yeah. they needed a full-time highly paid communications manager i don't uh, know if they could do the highly paid part every but everything would be national i mean everything would be different everything because right. they lost the community they lost trust they, people felt lied to the backers and the kickstarters said they were going to get one thing got something else they were promised this didn't get it you know i think it's like there's a meme it's like 17 times they were promised controller support it's still not in the game they're now radio silence now they're putting up job posts for another game they're working on with unreal right. Engine 5 which Without means they're just finishing this one which means so speaking of controller Oh, no. So the other day in Discord, someone was having issues trying to use a di uh, controller for Last Epoch. Mm -hmm. I'd never done it, so I was trying to help him out. So I play, I, I logged in and pushed the button on my controller, which That's engaged. Hmm. It's it's a thing. It exists. <laughs> um, so I've never played Last Epoch on a controller. It, it, I can tell I, you that... I, 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 I could tell you that every update, and I'm sure we're going to get something big for zero nine. Uh, there's going to they've already said it's going to be a lot of controller improvements. They want right. to bring along controller improvements, knowing that they want it to be able to be available on console in console, the future. Right. So that's yeah. really well, obvious. Yeah. I mean, that's obviously oh. the idea. Grim Dawn just got released, what, last month on Xbox? Did the dude sixty dollars. That's it. And people are paying 60 bucks for it again. Right. Just so they can have it on the other alternate system. Yeah. But controllers, it works well with controllers, just like Diablo did. I don't understand what the issue I is. I think with mapping the, the, all the different keys is the, the hard part. Like for last epoch, there was no mapped key for your inventory. It was kind of complicated to move and pick things up. Well, there was didn't. a lot of it's like half implemented. I think when you look on Steam, it has like a half. Yeah, that's why I said use the Steam right. controller because uh, you can assign compete, uh, keyboard keys to each of those. I'm sure I could get right. used to anything. I just could not imagine playing an MMO or ARPG on a controller. I just like can't. Feels. I don't know. It feels weird. Uh, so uh, Gabriel likes to game game on the go. Brings his Switch with him. So I picked up a Switch too. We played uh, Diablo three. I don't know. Each of us have probably 350 hours in the Diablo three on the Switch. Just the Switch. You know, not counting computer or whatever else. Right. Um, because he that's all he does is, you know, mobile gaming. And uh, it works very well in on the Switch. It works very well with controller support. I don't see what the issue is with, like, Wilson not having it for two years or whatever. Um, pretty basic stuff. Uh, yeah. So Long Shanks in chat says, I chose option two. I prefer to keep the prices low for those short on cash. POE is close to perfect in my opinion. I also quit Lost Ark after 430 hours and tried POE. So even someone like Zizarin says that POE is pay to win. Isn't that crazy? I mean, he's like, I'm not saying he's the biggest, but he's up there when it comes to POE. He's one of the... And yeah, even he openly is and he and he openly says that um, the stash tab purchases is a form of pay to win because it's a require. If you want to push full end game, it is right. required. You, have you but you only have to, buy them to once. have it. You have to have it. 
once you buy them, you have them for all, all your characters. I'd say the average player isn't on the same level, though. So what are you saying that I'm not as good as is at P.O.E.? I I've played Path of Exile forever. I probably maybe have 40 ish tabs altogether. I mean, but you, you do them. Per, you have to do them per league. So yeah. or no, you don't. Or do you? I so might long. have a few tabs. I don't remember. It's weird. Um, do you buy them per league or do you have them and they're just empty? So That's what they do right. is the trick right. is they always like will put up a new currency. So for this league, it's blah, blah, blah. And then they'll be like buy a, tab, a new currency tab. And then the tab to store that currency is mm -hmm. right. Yeah. <laughs> they did add that. Yeah. The essence tab. And right. Hoser says that last Epoch's Kickstarter was in 2018, and they were still like, you know, talking over Reddit. They just wanted to see if they could create a game. Yeah. Now we compare it to a full fledged studio. Exactly. So you got to remember well, the ramp the up. Studios was an incubator. But yeah, I mean, I've been playing last numbers? Epoch for, you know, years, <laughs> and I can tell you that the ramp up of that game, the scope, what they're trying to build now compared to the beginning is you know, even they can't believe it that, like, dude, people compare us to PoE and Diablo, and that's... Yeah. They're still blown away anytime somebody says that. And we know that Last Epoch is currently not in a state that it could be compared to Diablo or PoE, but... But it's future, in the conversation. It's in the conversation, yeah. future right. outlook. When you talk about Grim Dawn, you talk about Wilson, you talk about PoE, you talk about Diablo. At some point, someone's going to throw Last Epoch in that hat. So, it's pretty cool. Well... I was uh, today, in fact, I loaded up Inquisitor um, because it's I like that game. I like the universe and it's on a, it's got a league now, too. Yeah, it's on. Least, it. It's on season three, I think. Right. Season, yeah, season three. Yeah, uh, also, the Grim Dawn mod. There's a they're on season three with that, too. Um, yeah, it's just they will, that's not supported. And this one is. Um, yeah. And did you know they have seasons okay. in Grim Dawn? They I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. I, I haven't done any of them because it's not because I'm I'm I want it to be a supported thing by Crate. It's modded seasons, right? It's not. Yeah, it's a mod. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's like what um uh Diablo two before D two R project it, Diablo uh, project 2. Diablo two yeah project maybe, Diablo two maybe yes. I've played it. Yeah. What do you think of that? Yeah. You know we yeah, don't have to talk about Grim Dawn this whole time. What do you think of that? Uh, we were Good just game. talking about Project Diablo two. <laughs> Talking about various ARPGs, Aaron. And You're Inquisitor. right. Uh, Inquisitor became, I don't want to say a real game, that's stupid, became a game that was on my radar when they Better. released yeah. the Prophecy expansion. That yeah, like uh, really, that really opened up the game and made it fun. In Mar they're on Martyr now. Um, I like that you can right off the bat select uh, the subclass just from your character creation instead of like leveling up to level 10 and then going down a tree. This is a game where you're like, I want to play it this way from the get go. And they what, let you do that. Something that drove me crazy about that game. And if you play it enough, you might see this is that it's a game where you control the camera view, whether it's mm -hmm. zoomed in or you could flip it 360 right. and the game always feels better traveling up. So there's no UI in the way you get a better mm -hmm. line right. of sight. So you find yourself every time you enter a room flipping the camera so that it's 12 o'clock. What did you think about the you could take uh, shelter? You can hide behind stuff. Yeah. Space bar. That's the cool feature. I'd like to see that in more a, uh, isometric ARPGs. That would, that's a cool feature. Yeah, you With see that. You see that in yeah. like the ascent, like those yeah, style right, of right, games right. where you can use the environment as part and shoot over it. Yeah, it's neat. I haven't played that game in a while. It's been a minute. Game. It's not even that old. No, I know. It's been probably a few Probably months. a year old now. Four no, months since I played it. Actually, it might be older than a year, The Ascent. Isn't it? It's on It's on Game Pass now, right? You, you uh, it's, It started off on Game Pass, I think. Um, You played it in Wifey Wednesday, so how long has that been? God, that, that was, was, that was November, the last time I played it. October. My wife didn't Maybe. like it because we just died all the time. It was a little it's one of those games where if you went down the wrong neighborhood, you got one shot. <laughs> Are you saying if that you certain neighborhoods, neighborhoods aren't good? Everything. 
Well, in Darn. the ascent no, too, you like have to work as a team. You have to use the environment. Yeah. You just can't run in and slash like you're used to on an ARPG. So no, uh, yeah. Um, Things are just higher level or have just whatever destroy you mechanics in certain areas is what I'm saying. Hold on, guilty before you say anything. Okay, we're yeah. already 40 minutes in to mm -hmm. this podcast oh and we're still kind of on the se first segment. Okay, ah. so to kind of wrap this up a little bit again, 51% said option one, 43% yep. said option two, 6% said option three. In talking through this, I do think there's benefits to all of them, to all players. Free to play, someone that doesn't have money. $30 game, it's cheaper, and you can make yourself look the way you want to look. And then at $60, you don't have to deal with anything predatory. The game comes with everything. So I didn't say what I would pick. I would pick. What would you pick, Aaron? Option what two. Would I would pick option two. I think. Yeah. But I mean, and this is, is something that just that's, because Last Epoch is doing that. I mean, I. I mean, I. I am telling you right now, I was strongly, strongly against Last Epoch. I made my voice heard that they cannot have a monetary or a monetization system cash shop with spells and armors and crap until the in-game items look good. Like I was right. yeah. very vocal. Right. I even got a response yeah. from them where they said there will not be anything purchasable until every 2D art has a 3D model. So. Do you feel that you had an impression on them, Aaron? I was very vocal. I mean, I'm not going to say that they made the decision because of me, but I I said it. I got a great response, and then uh, they replied uh, and said they're not going to do it. So that in itself. I, I thought it was a yourself, unanimous don't do right. this from the community. I think Guaranteed. it's so. They would know that you have a pretty deep community, so they would trust your opinion to some extent because you kind of speak from the community's point of view to a bit, so... Well, I've just answered a hundred comments where it's like, why does the picture when I put it on my character not look like the thing I'm holding in my hand? Why does the armor uh, that I put okay. on doesn't look like the armor on my character? Like that is a, ser mm -hmm. that's a serious well problem. Just, you just might as well have your your uh, character look the same all the time if that's the case. Like, And, you know, they have that like big bone and all this other crap, you know, and it's like... Literally, I'm holding this crazy flaming mace, and then I put it on my character, and it's like a bone I'm holding in my hand. You know, it's... So right. anyways, they, they've said that until that is fixed, they're not going to offer a cash shop. And it has improved. No, for sure. On my, uh, my latest Game campaign, has. my solo self-found campaign I'm running, I have seen a lot of gear, and I'm sharing in Discord, like, oh, this is new. And sometimes you're like, oh, that's kind of new, but not really. But that's old. <laughs> yeah, that's old. OK, well, but, you know, it's, it's I have seen the improvements. So going through. Well, they've also you know, the and what you're tiers. talking about is you're when you're going through the campaign early on, you're like, oh, this is new. It's because they've added a lot of low level uniques. They've added a lot of leveling they uniques have. and oh. they want it to be where that low level unique you could find it with legendary potential, and now it becomes an endgame right. unique, right? So right. it's right. they're trying to pull. I have noticed that pull. Right now, I'm my my loot filter when I run the echoes. Right now, I only pick up like four items per because it's so strict at this point um, that I'm just kind of waiting at this point. Like I need to find this ring. I need this ring. I need to find this shield. The shield I mentioned the other day. So that's kind of where that game is. It's just kind of like this hunt. Just make sure gear. on your loot filter, you can see all exalt drops. Oh, I can. Don't worry. Okay. It's set up. Yeah. Because yeah. that's where I you'll miss some. You'll yeah. miss something that could be great. You know, no, even it doesn't I, um, have the right base. I have it cut out. So it basically takes out all items that are class based type things that I don't need. I took out all the weapons I'm not using, things like that. But then at the very top, show all the, you know, Show the unique, show the exalted, show the set pieces at the very top, just so I can at least trash them and throw them away. Right. Just at least now, you know. while we're talking about last epoch, even though I can't say anything, I'm going to say Daft's going to get mad at me that playing multiplayer in last epoch is awesome. Horrible. Oh, really? It's well, awesome. Glad you're enjoying it. And it's hard. You know, it's like, I hate cash shops. 
but I feel like I want to give them more money. Why is that? Like, is, am I the problem? I don't know. It's a lot of fun. And I think it's all. And... Go ahead. You've wanted to do it for so long, right? It's like, you know. Right. For years, you've been waiting to go to Disneyland, wherever the heck you want to go, and then you're finally there. Like, that's how it weirdly right. feels playing with other people in multiplayer. So I can't tell you and anything about it other than so far it's been great. So well, that's cool. Get ready. Yeah. Get yeah. ready. Get. It's all jealous. That's cool. And also, I'm not. I'm not because I don't want it to be ruined. See, now it's. Ruined oh, I don't for either. I, I will have I, the excitement of playing it on launch. And he will not. <laughs> Dude, I've already talked about too. I'm going to take a week off of work and I'm just going to three videos a day, stream all day, turn off the family. That will be your solo self found character then. It ha I mean, that's what I'm doing. I guess it's not solo. Right? It's no solo. You could take well, solo self found. Not, but self found. We'll put self found because yeah. I remember. Yeah, that's no one shared. Of the things you're like, ah, yeah. So. Um, what? It'll be a, a true run from the beginning. I booted up Ellie again. I think it was either today or yesterday. I think it was today. Um, Did you have content my, uh, you had to download? No. no. It hasn't been that long. It, well, I have an auto update, so. Oh, got it. Maybe. Maybe it happened. Um, <laughs> What'd you play? I, uh, the uh, uh, Rogue. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm trying. I'm building a poison archer, um, but I want to go make a new character. And I had I was like, do I want to play a forge guard? Because we've been talking about forge guard. And the answer is no. <laughs> Why? Well, I can't bring I can't bring myself to do it. It's a fun class if you play the right kind of build. Like, that's the reason I would have to. That's why I don't like playing through campaigns. I got you. you have to do this. You have to do that. Right. I don't you like being you. told what to do. You want to play Warpath. Like Take yeah. forge guard. You could do the blade dancer I'm doing and just crush the entire game. You hmm. should make a druid, I mean, make a spriggan. You know what? I could probably make a spriggan build. Uh, I, I, yeah. I haven't really done that one that much. Not since they did the big change. But it's what was your he experience? Cool. So you've been playing lots of Grim Dawn. You've been playing some Inquisitor. You logged into last Epoch. Was it this game feels old? This game feels like crap. Generally um, okay. What was your feeling? Between all three of those? Because I've also dipped into Elden Ring too. There's a review for Elden Ring coming. Um, like after the honeymoon's over with Elden Ring type of deal. Um, the honeymoon, you still on it? The honeymoon phase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still playing okay. it. Uh, okay. The honeymoon phase, uh, that's that's the whole purpose of that. But uh, between the three that you mentioned, the one that feels the oldest is Inquisitor. Okay. Uh, um, Grim Dawn, uh, I think because I play it so much and I now I have I, I played it on PC and on the Xbox and it works great on both. They just made a good game. It, probably right. their engine. They knew how to use it because they built it. Um, what for whatever reason that that never feels uh, dated outside of um, I, I use a mod for saturation on on PC. So for color saturation. Mm -hmm. OK, um, yeah. So. Graphics wise, it's probably the worst of the three. Uh, but last epoch, um, it feels smooth. Like the, the rogue I played today was smooth. You know, the uh, what is that called? Um, oh, what's it called? Uh, Flutter, whatever it is that the main the main uh, attack, the, that's uh, zero mana use uh, bow attack. Flurry. 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 That's the one, not Flutter. Um, that's yeah, it's smooth. Yeah, flutter. <laughs> I, I play a bear, people. Right. Um, it's very responsive. It, it except is. I'll for agree. I've noticed some on the uh, some of the movement skills aren't as responsive as they should be. Shift should uh, feel dash. good. Yeah, dashes in in particular. Yeah. So I can tell you something, and this is. Publix, this isn't like only the multiplayer testing, is that 409, this next update we're getting, it's not just we're going to get Last Epoch and it's going to have multiplayer. It is also going to be a massive content patch. So, is it? There's going to be 
I think double digit armor sets. There's going to be double digit new uniques. There's going to be new sets. There's going to be lots of new content potentially coming uh. into the game with multiplayer. On top of that, something that a lot of people complain about understandably is performance and optimization. So they're also right. really working on these heat maps and they've showed them. Whereas like, you know, they're they're monitoring all this data and it's like, you know, red means frame rate drops. You guys have seen heat maps before. And right. now they're seeing green yeah. and they're even seeing blue. They didn't even know what blue was, but blue's better than green when it comes to heat maps. So they're really working on frames. Yep. They're working on optimization and they're also working, which is coming to zero nine is combat feel. Like, does it actually feel like you're hitting the right. enemy when it does? Right. right. Not floaty damage. Yeah. But does it impactful. feel like you're floating over when you are actually running? Right. So they want the feet of the character actually like feeling like it's connected to the ground and they want combat the enemies That's... to feel like they're actually getting hit with death animation. So I will say it's going to be get huge that in Aaron. That will have a huge impact on what I would say is one of the weaknesses of the game is the game delivering itself to the player because already the, the the story told to you is pretty weak because yep. the voice acting is eh. Yep. Um, and and how they deliver it's kind of eh. so there's no direct connection to like the the, the, the action in the game and so if they got to get anything down as far as this polish type stuff this would be perfect to make the the game more exciting when you're fighting just even fighting trash mobs just say you know where it feels impactful and you, you feel like you're in the game like in the world yep sometimes it feels a little floaty um depending on your class type and all these things but I'm glad to hear that they're uh, working on that. Yeah, and Good. yeah, because, you know, we can want a thousand things and they've said they're going to give us a thousand things. But if they had the last three masteries, they had optimization and they had multiplayer, they could drop the game. We'd be happy. I mean, you could the game at that point, you could do 1.0. Actually, I'm sorry if they had trading multiplayer the three mastery classes and optimization. Right. If you had, I feel like if you have multiplayer, you gotta have some kind of trading, right? Um, right. Even if it's just, there's... even if it's just the party you're in, something falls, right. I could give it to that party member. Even if it's as basic as that, it needs to be in there. I think the game could drop. I think I agree, but I think there's something to be said about. You could also space these improvements out a little bit to make sure that they're quality improvements and not thrown at you at once. So they feel kind of trashy. Um, so if they do their timing right and they're, and they're talking with the community, right, they can probably space that out over a couple updates, you know, getting all the, the trade in and the multiplayer and getting it all kind of synced together, making sure that the multiplayer is synced. Once it goes live with multiplayer, making sure that's all synced. In the background, working on the trade, obviously, and then in the background, really immediately the classes they need to get finished that's like huge i mean you're talking it's to like me buying i've a made car and like oh there's no back seats yet but the front seats are in the car i mean it's you're, you're talking the... to somebody that has watched all 60 of mike's streams beginning to end have, i don't even have. know how many times he's gotten asked about rune master warlock and falconeer i would say oh, I... maybe a thousand times i mean yeah <laughs> like, I mean, multiple times. I mean, I guess if it's five for stream, what's five games. times a stream times oh. 60, you know, not a thousand hundreds and hundreds of times he gets asked about it. So think about this. Um, they haven't released those classes and they're putting uh, 3D art in the game before they release a class. So uh, right. uh, before a design is finished or, or implemented, I don't know if it's designed yet. Um, they're putting pretty pictures on things. Well, it's because that, yeah, it's because choice. it's because those things are already in the game. Right, but yeah. so it's order of operations at this point. It feels a little off. It's I think it's that, you know, 80 percent of 100 everywhere, and it all needs to come together at the end, with the exception of the masteries that they haven't started working on yet. So. <laughs> so, it, so are they designed at, on paper at least they're like, all storyboarded doc? yeah they're all that's the you know, storyboarded as far as what animations 
they know oh, what they're going to do with them. Animation. They know what they're going to okay. do with them. So there's a there's a dock. Okay. They they have the layouts. They've got. It seems like it's all there. They just haven't dedicated the time or the manpower to get it going. So they're trying to my bear looks player. sweet. So remember this, guilty. I said it on the last podcast. Sure. Zero eight two to zero eight three. They completely mm -hmm. remade the Void Knight from scratch. So in three and a half months, they did a from zero, right? New character, and that's and that's what Mike said on stream. And then I followed up with them, and I'm like, "Did I hear you correctly?" Because he said, and this is, I mean, who knows how long ago that was. He said the time it took to remake the Void Knight would be how long it would take to make Warlock. And when he said that, it gave me a lot of hope because I was like, oh, crap. So they can, you know, three months if they were given the resources, they could create those masteries. Now the team has you, Tencent. Yeah, exactly. So now they have the resources. <laughs> the team is bigger and they're going to unleash the entire dev team from multiplayer onto the masteries next, right? So is so I think you get them all at the same time. That's what I think. Just you to think? put um, I think put so. this into perspective a little bit. Um, we've talked about Cuphead on this channel. Oh my gosh. Um, oh yes. Cuphead like was made by two guys. One of which was not a an actual like developer until he was. He was a construction guy. He was a contractor. Right. Um, and his brother was hand drew everything. They hand drew all of that. Two of them made that game. Wow. Yeah, that, that's a thing. You know? Slormancer was made by two people. A yeah, lot of games were made by two people. Chronicon was uh, one, wasn't it? Wasn't Chronicon one? I believe so. I believe well, so. Um, oh, uh, Axiom Verge, one guy, five years, albeit five years, one guy, but he did the music, he did the art, he did the narrative, he did all the programming. You know everything by himself. I mean, right. he did it in part time because he was an active developer working for a AAA company, I believe. I don't know which one. Psychomatic but, um, said, "I love Ellie. I'm just wondering what they're going to do for new content after all the classes and skills and passive trees are done. One of my biggest draws is character creation and trying new builds with new skills." I'm thinking they'll delve into the timeline concept to. You know, because if you have a timeline, you can go forwards, backwards, parallel. I think that's probably how they're going to try to add content by just putting stuff in different zones and adding zones. Kind of like Grim Dawn did, where they kind of have the cluster the main campaign and then maybe add zones or have already planned zones that they want to do or concepts, at least. Yeah, they've uh, talked about the lots. Of they've talked uh, about a lot of different stuff they want to do for the future, and they said they have like endless ideas so right. whether sure it's do. whether it's new dungeons whether it's new skills whether it's new characters whether it's new masteries they've talked about um they want to have lots of different competitive ladders so like an arena ladder a corruption ladder uh, who could beat the freaking campaign the fastest like they want to have a lot of different competitive ladders available sure. and to what daft said is this game is focused on time and they were very smart in their initial thinking. Who knows? Maybe you get they call they don't call them leagues or seasons. They call them cycles. Maybe you get a cycle yeah, where okay. it's like you go to the year 4000, right? And now you're in right. the cyberpunk world. They, they, they're really against guns. They don't want to put guns in the game. <sighs> they know it screws up everything. They don't want to do it. In what way does it screw? You have a bow does and arrow. It screw the same thing. No, 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 no. They've it, said they don't want to ever screw up the fantasy element. So, for example, MTX, you're never going to right. be able to turn your character into like a you know a, a pink unicorn or a panda sure. bear, or you're not going to be able to shoot pancakes wanna, from your meteor. They want to keep it all universe lore right, based. Right, right, they can have right. guns in the, one of their unreleased classes. Yeah, like, I mean, you could do it. Pirates guns, literally have gun locks. Yeah. You know, could have a, a mage, like for instance, a mage gun that shoots like bats or something. So it's not bullet type thing. So it's still a summons gun. So you're shooting summons type thing. So you could up your summons damage, you know, and it could be all bats flying out or skeletons or it could be whatever. I mean, you could go crazy, but it's not necessarily conceptually like guns. We think it just means a velocity type weapon. Well, you know. 
awkward crossed. decisions. <laughs> it, we've, we've noted a few of them. I was yeah. literally um, just going to bring something up. Daft, read the last comment in chat. One second. Okay, so we got but crossbows. Which one are we talking? But, but crossbows. So yep. Mike, that's, that's the gun. Mike said on last stream, crossbows are coming. So that is a green lit firearm. Right. They're come ballistas are in the game, bow and arrows in the game, crossbows are coming. A hundred percent. Now that doesn't mean it's coming zero nine. I'm not saying it's coming on the next update, because I don't know that. I would tell you if I did. Well that could that could be the new class weapon. I mean Oh that's true. Falconeer could use crossbows right. the class weapon. Also, Seneca yeah. also says uh, Stardew Valley was made by one person. Yes. That's mm. a lot of and that's, that's a, a lot of sprites. That's a lot Man. of spriting. <laughs> it's a lot of spriting. But hey, if you, you put know? crossbows in the game, you could do a lot with that. Because it's basically a gun. Right? I mean one handed oh, it's not one handed it is a gun. It's a firearm. Would we be one handed? I would they would I would think you'd put both, both in. Then you could duel? You could dual wheel cross. Oh yeah. Oh, that's Dude. a whole nother game. If Did Falconeer, oh. if Falconeer drops the animation. With, oh yes. yes. Falconeer, you're the ballista class, and you also have your falcon, and you've got your dual. Oh my. Your dual wielding crossbows. Could be a thing. I mean, but you know, we'll see. I guess that's the anticipation factor that we all kind of wait on. We we talk about it and. And go, hmm, maybe. And then in the end, we're either like, yay, or, oh. What was that? Uh, Princess Mononoke. That's a fantasy uh, uh, anime. And uh, they right. had uh, those black powder, old school, free musket boomsticks. Yep. Wasn't Fate made by one person, too? Fate? I don't know. Uh, no. Maybe, maybe. One person? Uh, maybe. Oh, well, I'm, uh, I, I, I developed by it maybe they some of these people could purchase asset packs and, and you know but the ones oh, that don't. do all their sprite and artwork and and music themselves that's like uh right that's really that's incredible uh psychomatic said on a side note what about their monetization we do we know what's coming when and how is your question about last epoch is that your question last epoch monetization they have cosmetics coming he anyway said, wait, yeah. I thought you said there will be no Falcon on the Falconeer. No, that's not what I said. I said that the it's Falcon won't be a minion. Yes, he did. Specifically. Yeah, yeah it won't and be And then a we were perplexed as to what it could be. It is a... Because totems fall on under minion, so technically they're minion. Yeah, it's not they a minion. Like a totem. <laughs> they, they said... I think it, not a... Yeah. <laughs> It's going to be a skill. It's got to be a skill. You know, right. it, it, it yeah. won't count as a minion class for, for your affix. This is basically what I'm trying. They're trying. Yeah. To what I think it's going to be is like, you know, if you're a source or a wizard, whatever, and you make a meteor, right? Is that meteor a minion? No, it's a it's a spell. I think that's what the Falcon's going to be like. You could summon or, the Falcon right. to do however you spec it, but it's not. A minion even though it is a minion same, with you same thing with the acolyte with the uh the the floating ghosts around you yeah it doesn't but, count as a minion yeah so yeah eat that. something along those lines i think uh they could benefit and you know by not going out of you know go, um keeping the their design within scope of their capabilities which is more now that they've got that uh that 10 cent money right um and that they've it sold you. a lot of copies without that, though. They have. Um, but they still should uh, realize that they aren't uh, a massive, huge company, and they should keep it in the scope. Thank you, know, you yeah, Exatheus, for the sub seven months. I owe you a hat flip. We don't do hat flips on the podcast, awesome. so I will remember. Yeah, I remembered Flenzers. Awesome. I'll remember yours. Thank you, sir. He yes. wants um, to flip hats. Yeah. And don't be like me and pick every wrong hat. Dude, you guys did horrible. I told my seven-year-old, I was oh, like, hey, we pick, we flipped seven hats. They didn't find one thing. And she's like, I hit them really good. I was like, you did hide them very good. I know. Okay, sorry. Yeah, Psychomatic, so to answer your question, 
Last Epoch is a $35 game. If you catch it on sale, it's $27. So it will never have right. paid DLCs in the future. All future content and cycles will be free since the game is a paid retail price. It will have a cash MTX cosmetic only shop. And if you actually play Last Epoch, you could actually go into the menu and see your character <laughs> and all the different slots it has for MTX you're going to be able to purchase. Now, and all those cool <laughs> yes, all those MTXs or all those purchases will be lore based. So you won't be able to turn your character into something crazy. You know, you probably turn right. yourself on fly fire, or bleed or glow. Really hoping they don't do wings. Don't do wings. So oh, I, don't I do it. Do wings because I love wings. I love being the do you? like don't yeah, do, you do wings. The obnoxious guy standing in the hub and the wings take up the whole screen and then you can turn on like the like the right. windshield wipers attachment to them and then don't you can glow, do like, wings. Obnoxiously, like magenta how about, flashes. Yeah. How about That's, auras? Don't do auras either. The auras? Like the black aura. flashing ones. Great. Give us no, like no, no, no. I'm okay with like cool portals. Like that's fine. That's I actually cool. like I like more subtle clean. You know, like the armor that's like not you know, like you could see the sun right. hitting it, like it's bright, you know, or um being able to throw that boss's skull on your shoulder, you know, that kind of cool collector's stuff. Well, but not I, I'd rather have cool. I'd rather have something super clean, small that you could see than something like, dude, look at this friggin' guy. Like, I don't like the overbear. I actually don't. PoE puts a lot of money into it and it looks nice, but it's still right. like you get enough people that look like that. It's like, dude, I can't even see what's happening. On top of that, Psychomatic, what they really want to focus on is spell MTX. So you'll actually be able mm -hmm. to change how your spells and abilities right. look without actually being able to change the function or power of the skill. So we always use the example of like, you know, you drop I a huge so. meteor or you drop a bunch of small meteors, but you know, it still does the same thing. Or you can same change thing. your your fire meteor to bl be like blue fire or green fire. Like they want to, you know, you, not only can you customize how you look, but you can actually customize the skills you use, how those look. So, I mean, it should be it should be pretty cool. I don't know what they're going to charge. Just do you think oh, they'll have cycle drops like they do in Path of Exile, where you, yep. you know, do yeah, X yeah, challenges? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that could be they're, cool. They're gonna, they're more unique ones. That. So if, if they they do take they're kind of like um, they take the best elements of the best games and leave the stuff that wasn't the best part of that game. So I think they're going the MTX shops coming up from Poe. The tab system did right. Um, well, the tab system, I think they already got their own, so I don't think they're not going to do tabs. Well, they change that. No, yet. I mean, the way their tabs work now, that's very similar to POE, where you yep. can name them and have them well organized. Right. Um, but who does that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I think that um, who does that? going back to what we said earlier, the only way that they're going to be able to fund uh, maintaining the game without, you know, DLC prices and all that is by having uh, the MTX cost like 20 bucks, 10 bucks, 5 bucks, 60 bucks, 200 Depends, bucks. Depends, yeah. Sets. Um, here's like the Christmas like MTX. Here's the St. Patrick's Day MTX. Here's the, the whatever yeah. Yeah. holiday here. Earth all the way back. Yeah. Yeah. Footsteps. Oh. <laughs> Thank yeah, you, yeah. Wrath, for the tier two sub. He's been subbed for 12 months one year you get a hat flip on the next stream i should just bring yeah, yeah. we should just do hat dark flips on this you know just make it i don't have it set up though thank you dark swift is here hello dark swift eway says you're not supposed to see anything in poe because there's so much crap in mtx on the screen and normally you're speed running it anyways I think that's what he's saying. Oh, no, don't speed running. Don't speed that's how they want to murder you. Fun for them. How many times do you want to slowly run through Path of Exile? I don't know. Not a whole lot. Hey, Wrath. Wrath, you're saying you don't want his sweaty hat that he's wearing right now? I, I wouldn't even. Oh, uh, would you prefer you uh, like the, the, the trucker style or the uh, flat bill style? Oh. I think I'm going to go trucker next. Because I already that's, have the yeah, flat bill. Yeah, I already have the flat bill behind me. Yeah. 
Uh, Aaron, I reckon you still owe me a video on stash tab setups. Uh, you know what? <laughs> that would be a. I'd watch it just so I could uh, have fun yeah, in the it, comment section. It, it, Oh Aaron, my gosh! It's time to invest into all the starter videos, like a, like maybe a set of ten videos, maybe fifteen, depending on how like detailed you try to go. Like you could break down classes, break down how to craft up all the updated, because there's a lot of that stuff in the library of YouTube for some of this, but it's kind of outdated now. I, I could do like on. a series. Get ready yeah. for multiplayer stash tabs. Getting ready. Get ready for multiplayer ready. loot filter. Get ready for multiplayer exactly. leveling. Right. You know, how to how to by Aaron and the community, basically. And it's going to be probably one of the a classic thing, because if, if you know, you're going to get all these new players coming in. And just like with Path of Exile, even though people have been playing it for years and years, people still make all the guides every single every single league. So, you know. I think with uh, it would be a good thing to jump in on uh, for Last Epoch. Aren't yeah, too many out there. That's We're actually not, putting time into the game. That is not a bad idea. Dark Swift, I want you to listen for a second, okay? Not to restart the first segment, but I got to hear his thoughts, okay? Dark Swift is one of our community members, been around a while. Dark, would you rather pay $60 for a game, pay $30 for a game, and have a cosmetic only MTX or have the game for free and anything goes. Thirty all day. Option B. Well Yeah, it's been overall winner. I mean in this mm, it's with, been the inner over but on YouTube it was on here. On yes. here. Um on YouTube, yeah. So kind of the opposite, right? Same kind of difference though. Just I like the idea of well, mix. the $60 thing, but then again, if I want the game to continue, that clearly doesn't pan out. And there has to be right. some way to fund it, so obviously DLC would be like 40 bucks. Like, I guess um, if, for me, the breaker is the development of the game. $60 pays, sometimes the development stagnates or dies or just becomes updates to keep it, you know, working well. So there is that argument of, you know, how much more, like the investments there, how long is this investment going to go? Can I mod well, the game? You know, that kind of thing. Well, I mean. Daft, look at Hooded Cloak's comment. I know, I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> All types of seeing the name, seeing he can hear me clearly, which is cool. So Daft updated his lighting. He updated his microphone. I added names and number. Yeah, the number's cool. See yeah. how old we're getting. Listening to the community's feedback. Oh, only if Wilson could do that. <laughs> <laughs> we're asking a lot, Aaron. I know. Maybe we're thinking about what reality is. Not that I wouldn't want just a flat $60 game straight up. Yeah, I mean, then they have to monetize it through DLCs. So, you know, right. I'm, I'm OK with any form, I don't, you know. I don't care. Like you want to charge whatever for however hat or armor you see, as long as it doesn't give that person an advantage over me, I really can care less. Like that's their decision, how they want to spend their money. But this is what I right. don't like. Okay. We got about 20 minutes left. Okay. Diablo four. This is what's going to happen. You guys ready? Let's talk Diablo for a minute. Not right. Diablo immortal. I don't want to talk about immortal. Talk about D four. This is what D4 is going to have. It's going to be a $60 triple A titled price game. On top of that, mm -hmm. it's going to have like a gold edition that's going to be $90. And then there's going to be like a platinum exclusive for $120. So you're going to be talking about at least three different prices at the triple A price. On top of that, they are going to have just as terrible as far as cosmetics go as Diablo Immortal and probably battle passes and all that crap but without yeah, wow. power purchasing. Is that okay. is that the worst? Like what? <laughs> so it's a Blizzard game? Yes. <laughs> so we already knew that. We didn't even have to be told that. No. Because of course they will. Starts us starts off as a dumpster fire right nowadays. Just and then like, it's just it, no, it's got that's that. what I expect. Yeah, it, it has something to prove now. It's like if your kid has been doing horrible in grade school 
and then one day like they come back and like perfect you're like that's not expected it's, it's gotta you know you've set your your stage and as blizzard's done for the past few years they've set their stage is it possible that they put all their eggs in d4 so maybe it's like oh this game sucks this was a terrible decision we invested there nah it didn't work out but who cares our golden goose is d4 this is where we this is where we focused on and everything we've done wrong we've learned and we're gonna drop it right learned well, World of Warcraft, uh, uh, Dragonflight, um, that's, uh, probably their, that's right. What, yeah. Uh, that, yeah. That's, yeah. I mean, but, obviously people have been waiting for D4, but, um, people have also been waiting for a good, you know, World of Warcraft, uh, DLC. Right. But Aaron, you'd have to agree wisdom or, uh, Blizzard as a D&D character, their wisdom score is like a six. So you know, their rolls are pretty low. So they're not going to make those rolls. Okay, they're I said I'm not going to talk it. about Diablo Immortal and I and I can't help myself. I can't help myself. You, you borrow you the angry. You borrow the CEO of Blizzard. You know, I. You just want to transport yourself into these board meetings so you could just hear what these people are talking about. Because obviously my perspective is like, what right. are they thinking? It's so black and white. Like, how do they not see it? Yabara, the CEO of Blizzard, came out and said, this is not, this isn't like day one. This is like five weeks after Diablo Immortals launch and said that he 100% agrees with the current monetization system in Diablo Immortal. 100% agrees right so when you think about that to. when you think about that perspective because you could say hey listen this game's this is what this is actually what he said he said this game's free to play we're giving a full diablo experience and 99.5 percent of all content is free it's just that point point five <laughs> you would have to pay for so and, and is that though a reference though Aaron do you think that the what their perspective of the actual people that are trying to achieve, achieve that level of the game like are they saying only 0.5 like they only expect 0.5% of the player base to even try it what he's is saying that is that like are they trying to twist the words a little bit so it's like he oh, is trying to saying. say that only yeah. 0.5 of the content is accessible through money okay but so this falls into something that the the CEO of um, Unity said recently. Uh, John R. I'm gonna just say R. 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 Don't, I cannot pronounce this man's name. I, I'm sure I could have. I heard it, but this is a uh, he this said is consonant what soup. Effing idiots. Um, <laughs> uh, it will. In context, what he said is if you are a developer that does not think about at some point during the development about monetization you are an effing it now that's not nice to say about people uh you you know obviously you don't want to go around being a jerk but at the core of what he said is you yeah if you're trying to make a product at some point you're gonna think about how to sell it well he, I, mean, I mean he rolled it back he says he wishes he didn't sell it but that's probably because unity is just they're going through it right now so i'm sure right I would have wanted to see Yabara to say, hey, listen, we get it. We hear your voices. Maybe we were a little too aggressive on the current monetization system. We're thinking about it. We have plans for the future. I hope you're all enjoying this game. Nothing requires you to spend money. The option is there. And we hope that you love it. This is a game that we're going to update for years to come. We already have great content rolling out. We've already got lots of stuff planned. I think you're really going to love it. We have an investments in this game for the future, right? Like, I mean, even a, a, a sliver of maybe we could have done something. I don't know. It's just it was so <laughs> like, what are you talking about? The monetization system's perfect. Like you could get a full Diablo experience and not spend a cent, you know, like but that's it was not the full so, Diablo it's, experience it's, in 10 years. <laughs> If you're okay playing the same Actually, grind more. for 10 years. No, remember, we more. figured it was 10 oh, years right. to get the one 
just the one thing maxed out, but oh, you have wait. them socketed into each other. We're talking 50 years here. I, I don't think, think it's possible I, in a lifetime no, to max no. that game. No, it's there. See, guys, I think we're missing the meta. They're just making legacy games that we pass on to our children. Exactly. It's like we're going to start building the pyramids and there their kids is. are going to finish it. That's <laughs> that's it. That's what it is. Legacy it's, gaming. You, the, you're, legacy they're, gaming. They're, they're, you're, they're about to read your will. It's like, oh, leave me the necro. Please yes, leave please. me the necro. Don't leave it to Jimmy. I mean, it's not a bad idea. You should. Anyways, uh. the point I was trying to make is that the current CEO of Blizzard didn't even bat an eye at Diablo Immortal. So what does that tell you about right. what they have learned right. about Diablo 4? Like, that was the point I was trying to make. That right. being said, multiple people have come out and said that in D4, you will not be able to buy power. They've changed the wording. Before they said you would not be able to buy gear, and now they're saying, uh, no, you will not be able to buy power, which power. was the screw up with Diablo Immortal. So what um, they probably did is renamed everything in the game to not mention power in any way, right? And maybe it's um, ma maintain attunement or maintain They didn't, they didn't say, majestics. or what about access? Yeah. I, <laughs> here's, a, here's a creepy thought, guys. Access. Uh, uh, so... I'm sure everyone here has played uh, Breath of the Wild or has heard of Breath of the Wild. Yes. Okay, so the weapons broke really fast in Breath of the Wild. What if they had weapons break that fast, but you had to, like, buy tokens to repair them? You'd buy the tokens. Me. Yeah. So it's not buy buying power, tokens. you're just buying mechanics to uh, fix your stuff so you could uh, blizzard you can contact me by my email we'll we'll talk you already know Take what they're going to come up with more evil ways for you to make money it's going to be pre-order 60 bucks and then they'll have the all the other crap probably like lost ark three day head start it's right. going to break every record in sales and on top of that it's going to have a crazy cash shop so it's going to happen right it's literally okay. yeah. all expected and Weapon the three degree. of us will be chatting about it while we're playing in our little chat. That'll be the, oh. the meta. The first three hours, all three of us will be, this is pretty cool. Jack Nine Six Pro hours has in. a very good Ugh. idea. Read this. When your character dies, pay to retain your XP. <laughs> I don't think they're doing negative XP in this game. Are they? <laughs> it did say. You pay to retain it, though. You used to have to run back to it. Now you have to buy it. You know what they're going to do? They're going to lean so much into mounts. I still can't believe the game has mounts in it. I just can't believe it. No need. Oh, no need. gosh. Why? For cash. People want the mounts. Mounts. I can't even. I just die inside a little bit when I think of mounts in an ARPG. That's well, that's because it's literally an, an ARPG. They're, they're pulling away they're the trying, stuff that makes yeah. it an isometric ARPG that we know about, and they're. It's going to be Lost Ark. I still think they're going to be very similar. Probably not exactly the same thing. Hi, Lady Medusa. Similar. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm sure most of you know this. You don't put mounts in ARPGs because you have movement skills and you have waypoints. They're, they're not needed. Yep. It's stupid, right? Yeah, but they also say. know yeah. that in that board meeting, hey, how much money have we made on mounts in World of Warcraft? I would love to see uh, that figure. What do you think, well, you? I mean, oh, God. millions, yeah, tons, tons. Well, when they were making the, um, the last uh, DLC for uh, World of Warcraft, uh, Shadowlands or whatever it was, um, right? There's Torghast, which originally was supposed to be a rogue dungeon, roguelike or a roguelike dungeon or whatever. Uh -huh. And they actually brought in the Diablo team, said, "Hey guys, how could we do this?" And they sat down and said, "Do this, this, and this, and you'll 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 have a great experience." And uh, the World of Warcraft guys said, oh, just add that and that. Uh, we're That's not going to do any of it. that. Yeah, it's all trash. Not going to do that. We're going to do the thing we wanted to do that she said was bad. And that's how it ended up being the worst part of the game. I hate it. <laughs> but yeah, they're, they're, they've been working on crossing their games into each other to an extent, or at least uh, game mechanics. Like, I that think is just one example. Sure. I, I do think they're going to stick to Camp by Power. They just... They just renamed it, Aaron. Right. I think yeah, they're going to hold to that. He's right. I think they're going to hold gems. to that. But this is what it's going to be. It's going to be yeah. cosmetic battle pass. It is going to be full cash shop for 
Helmets, armors, gloves, rings, amulets, <laughs> boots, relics, shields. Right. And, and then there's going to be full cash shop for horse saddles and horseshoes and trolfies and manes oh, and speed Relaces? and and then M it's going to be pointers and then it's going to be full <laughs> cash shop for followers and what your followers do and it's going to be full <laughs> cash shop for your pets then there's going to be full follow cash shop for your spells if your horse throws a shoe you have to pay to have it re-shoe re follower cosmetics that, i'm serious that's oh. what i'm saying i mean there you go and then carrots. it'll be ooh, ooh, limited edition. Ooh, this limited one's only a carrots. this one's a one-time release for three days, never coming back. You get it now? No FOMO. Oh, or so it's, it's like gone. Disney puts things in the vaults. They're gonna have the, the the Blizzard vault. I think that's what it's gonna be. I don't think they're stupid. Yes. Yeah, it's so funny. Eight hundred percent value. I've talked about that so much. The Diablo Immortal starting MTX is 800% val value, 99 cents. They want to get that credit card in there. They want it to, hey, look out. That was only a dollar. You probably didn't even notice it. And it was a great right. savings. Once we get you to do yeah. it once, you'll do it again. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you, oh, you like <sighs> green yeah. flames. Ooh. Well, as you go further into the game and you get weaker in your wisdom choices because you've been grinding for so long and it starts to you know, etch away at your wisdom score. It, it you know, like oh, we talked about um, this in this particular genre, but we haven't really seen it too much in other. Well, shooters definitely have it. The, M the MTX definitely right. in shooters. But like, imagine in single player titles, like uh, the the single player alien title that's coming up. Imagine if you could like get the aliens to be dressed up as something, like the Xenomorph runs by in like a uh, an outfit. Right. Perfect. Yeah, that's, I'm just. Guys, I mean, there's money to be made here. We could dress up a uh, xenomorph like little Bo Peep. Little, little made out. Have it running around, and you it, it's entertaining. People will buy it. Right. That's mm. what people do. They look oh. to this make case. their game look what they want it to look like. Or you have to pay like for the blood. Thing. Like you buy the, the, the <laughs> game, but you have to pay for the blood. <laughs> Would you like blood sprites? $5.99. Yeah. <laughs> You know, technically, pay to progress isn't buying power, right? Yeah, I, I would say no. That's um, pay to progress is just making it quicker. Power, I would I would view is like if you were both at equal footing and you go and buy a special weapon. I can never remember. I always say I'm going to look it up, but there's something that you need to have to access a dungeon. I don't think it's a key. I can't remember what it is. And they said that those things that you have to use to access the dungeons will have affixes on them that will change the dungeon. So it's almost like a map, okay. right? It's, it's, it's a map right. on POE. It does different things. That's where I see them like, oh, we, you know, we're selling these things right. that'll make your dungeons harder, we're which in turn right. gives you we're more selling, rewards, right? We're <laughs> selling you the end game. Um, Entry tickets. That's all. It's <laughs> nothing wrong. Jack Nine Crow has uh, said something that I'm seeing um, in the audio uh, world. Uh, you, if, when you buy uh, certain uh, plugins in the audio world, you might have like two or five uses of them. He's uh, he right. mentioned Imagine Drop MTX that has limited use. Oh, um, that's actually that's... a thing, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, uh, Destiny Two has limited use MTX. Do they? Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, when you uh, every like time you charges, do it, you could use it twenty yeah, times. It, yeah, well, you can collect more blue or whatever. You can buy oh. more blue, but yeah, each of them they're, they're limited. That's already a thing. But it cloak says anything that makes you kill mobs faster or reach a higher stat sheet quicker than when you should at any part in the game's power curve, that's selling power. I disagree. The progression isn't long term power just because it's. Bleeding doesn't make it less pay to win. That just pushes you further up into the, you know, upper echelon of players. You're pushing the game. That's, Dude, it's going to be it retail copy averaged 80 to 100 dollars with. A crazy shop and battle passes. That's going to uh, be in D4. the four. Day I one. covered this in the blog. I actually the What's up, Chris, the Engwar, analogy hello. I used in the blog this week was based off of Blizzard's World of Warcraft. 
Like I was like, yeah, it used to be you buy a game, but now you buy the game for 60 bucks and you pay $40 for the DLC. You have pay a $15 uh, subscription fee. Plus you have MTX. And I use that as like, that's we pay that and we're fine with that. We do it. Uh, I was, I didn't say I was like, like Blizzard. I, but it is, that was what I based it off of that model. That's, that's the new hybrid model that I think everyone's trying to ape. Good. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's a, that's a new thing. It's, there's game devving and then there's model. Like these are the two, you know, yeah. concepts that they go into all these games with and some just try to take advantage of the players more than others. I am obviously biased. I want a $30 game with an MTX mm -hmm. cosmetic shop only. And mm -hmm. I want the game to be called Last Epoch. Every game in the future. Um, That's it. Not a paid for spokesperson. Hang war. That's it. Mm. Popping in to say howdy, folks. Been out with, ooh, COVID cough. That's not good. Hopefully you're feeling better. Okay. We are at 90 minutes, but we're not going to wrap it up, okay? At the end of this stream, just for a few minutes, we want to answer some quick questions if you have them. Now, this doesn't have to be game related. This could be, hey, daft, what the hell is that behind you? You know, you could ask anything as long as it is respectful, okay? So if anybody has Holy crap. a question for any of us, feel free to put it in chat. Shoot. Please ask Daft Sumner. No, she's... <laughs> <laughs> Loving you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, by the way, guilty. People think you don't know how to play the guitar. It's back there, but people... I don't. I don't. Uh, that's a paperweight. It's a mahogany Hamburgers or hot dogs from Dark Swift. All right. Uh, ooh, it's a good question. I would probably go hamburgers because you can layer them a little more effectively and kind of like make mixed type of hand hamburgers. You can make juicy Lucy's. You can make very spun. You could all go crazy. And mind you, with hot dogs, you can kind of go crazy too. Um, but you have to have a sausage maker to kind of go super crazy at home with hot dogs and can make your own. So I'll lean towards hot dogs. And the question or, uh, wasn't given to me, but I'm going to say hamburgers, unless it is a basic hamburger compared to a chili cheese dog, then I'll then I'll jump over. OK, but hamburger. Sir Koi Fish, why does everyone have a hat? Uh, uh, I've worn a hat in every video I've ever made. It is a branding thing. Uh, these guys just copy me. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, not quite. Uh, I wear a hat because they they I, they feel more comfortable when I wear hats. That's it. We uh, we we did his wardrobe test before we started. Exactly. But I can unhat yeah. at any time. I might in some videos. Oh, what did Hoser say? Hey, things. guilty. Got my guitar out today and it was like riding a bicycle, but I broke a string after 15 minutes. What is the model of your guitar? Uh. uh this one back here is a, a Les Paul Studio. I have a Ibanez Prestige back there somewhere, and then I have a Les Paul copy over there. Um, it just yeah, it's just a few, just a few. I mean, uh, the same with drums. I've got a few. None of them are here, dude. I almost here, read Dark Swift's question out loud before pre-reading it. Let me see what it is. Bad idea. Okay, it's a decent question. Uh, if you were in the last moments to live and you could only play one last game, what would it be? Um, uh, how high that is on my list, but of things to think of, but mm, I do have an answer. I'd say Civ 4. Oh, it's a good idea. It's a fun game. Because it, it, it takes me back. Nostalgia. It goes through all my life. It, it, it's like nearly 20 years of content for me that I could reflect upon while I'm playing my one last turn. I've got mine guilty. I'll go last. Yeah. Okay. Um, mine would be persona three, the, the FES with the, uh, 30 extra hours. Um, uh, that was, that's specifically for nostalgia. I really like that game. I would yeah. say Mario three. Oh yeah. It's a good one too. So we all dipped into the vault. Nostalgia. Interesting. Oh, Angwar says Star Wars Galaxies. That's where, like, if I had, like, a year and I only play one game, I guess I would go. Oh, Eway says, wait, not Grim Dawn? No, no. Well, I, 
talking about ARPGs, that's my favorite ARPG. Wait, will you die after the game is over? That is really fun. Or do you have a certain amount of time to play? I guess that's not, I mean, that's... <laughs> Dude, I played so much Mario 3, and it's a very hard game. It's very challenging. If you're just going to play every level, you get a lot of time. You don't use the flute. And jump. You guys right. know what I'm talking about. You're all too uncultured. I, yeah. What? <sighs> I, I, he just, he just filled in the blanks there. I don't think he knew what he wanted to say. Exactly. <laughs> Next. It's okay, though. Any other questions? Do, 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 do. Oh, I didn't get the little sound alerts going for the stream. I should have got those guilty. Do the con no, uh, uh, Dark Swift is asking about the curtains. Do the curtains match the drapes? Don't you shouldn't have read that out loud. You're supposed to read things that he types in your head first. <laughs> those are the rules. Those I'm, are the Dark Swift I'm, rules. I'm not used to him being here. Not saying that. By the way, but. <laughs> He's typically not as active in here, so I don't um, have to do that. Good job. Guys. What is the meaning of life? <laughs> I'm going to say uh, friends, family, faith. That's my answer. Dark. Ah. Killing me, dude. The meaning of life. 42. <laughs> yeah. Uh, All right. I have a question for answer. guilty. What is that tattoo on your forearm you just flashed us? It's a uh, Metatron's cube. Show everybody. We already all saw it. I mean, do you know how to arboil a potato? Yes. Yes. Very, uh, yeah. Easy. Okay. No other questions. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I expected more. Eway. I, I new concept. People start thinking about them off the what? on the off week and then come back in. What is a with the ammo? Oil? No, I have a few more. Dark, I'll give you a second to type out your questions. As long as they're not. Oh, favorite bands. Oh man. Okay. Um, all time or current? Yeah. Uh, Big yeah. difference. All time. Um. Mm. Okay, I like the uh, the Miles Davis Quintet uh, from 1959. Commando. Let's see. Boxers. <laughs> <laughs> there was no time of day given, so <laughs> just answer. Uh, the Cradle Robbed <laughs> Me. Next. Uh, uh, does he have these pre pre written? Probably. <laughs> Stream conscious. This is why it's good when Dark shows up at the end of the stream instead of having to deal with them throughout the whole time. So it's actually good. Yeah, yeah. It, this is like a, it's a full dose. All oh, once. someone else read that. I'm too far away. Ah, so it's a half a half boiled potato. Yes, yeah, so it's a, if if you're par cooking French fries, for instance, you will. Thanks. You will drop them in your or fry them at like 370 or 375 and then finish them off. You, you have two different levels of cooking. So par cooking is basically preparing something to be finished quicker <laughs> when you I need it in a, in a pace. So like you'll do that in restaurants all the time. You'll par cook a lot of your food so that oh. you can finish it in a relatively short time. So that's kind Angwar's of like, got a good question. Angwar okay. has the last question. Angwar right. has the last question. Sorry, Dark, you're done. Angwar, what types of gaming mechanics draw your interest when deciding to play? Guilty, you go first. Um, I have different moods. I like that. Okay. Yeah, so, so um, I do like the complicated um, 4X style games. Obviously, I can't play them every day. I like uh, ARPGs because of the uh, progression systems in them. Um, yeah, I think uh, the reason I liked certain um, like the Persona series was because of you, your collection of demons that you could put together was like a, a kind of like a progression system onto itself because, you know, you needed some for certain things and some for other things. Uh, so a big ping pong back between those. Yeah, those are probably my go tos. Um, I yeah, rarely I do think shooter. it's. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think I'll play anything. If you're asking me, like, what really draws me in, uh, I'm going to say, like, oh, 
right when I notice the game has an isometric view, I normally like that. You know, so that's like kind of one of the first things. It, I mean, it doesn't have to be an isometric view, um, but I do like that. I like any game that drops loot. So if there is, you know, whether that's a looter shooter, whether that's an MMO, whether that's an ARPG, I do like the hunt for equipment for my character. Uh, and then multiplayer. Daphne. I think for me, the top things that like mechanically that bring me to games um if we're talking arpgs something that's familiar yet revisited in a new way so it's a different take on it um i play a lot of building games so if the game mechanically has a nice tech system or like order of operations on how you build like a development i've been playing clan folk lately which is kind of like a rim worldy ish thing but it's more family centric as opposed to just colonists um so anything that has like a, a nice new niche version of something i'm familiar with and like that typically brought draws me in first the style of game could be arpg builder game roguelites um those are my kind of like i guess triangle of three styles of games i play the most so and then 4x kind of like encompasses that at the same time you kind of have a little bit of all that in a 4x so those are the things for me personally, just those style of mechanics. All right, I'll answer one last question and then we're done. Dark says, all right, serious question. What is a guilty pleasure of a game that no one would expect you to play at me? Aaron. Guilty pleasure. Hmm. Killing people in PVP. Really? So is I that used to... I used to love Street Fighter. I used to love fighting games. I was always that person that you probably like wanted to punch in the face that would go hostile outside of Tristram in Diablo 2 and try and kill and steal as many ears as possible. Uh, you know, I I love. Oh, it, it's hard to balance in the type of games that we play, but, you know, it's it's PVP is a lot of it's a form of skill and kiting and how to use your skills and try and guess where they're going to be before you do them. It's right. a lot of fun. I have, and that's and that's the like. That's what, I'm excited for that type of stuff in the future. Um, being able to like stream with someone and then we're just screwing around and it's like, okay, let's fight each other. Like, I've always liked that. I used to play um, uh, like City of Heroes and DC Online, and those are the types of games where you could just like be with your friends. Like, click, I want to fight you, and then it's click, I want to fight you back, and all of a sudden there's this dome around you. And for no other reason, you could fight people, but there's no gain or reward. I always thought that was a lot of fun. So how is that considered a guilty pleasure? I mean, you're supposed to kill people in PvP. So uh, do you? That's the first the thing that question, came to my head. What game is the guilty pl pleasure or what mechanic in the what game? What mechanic? OK, what mechanic? All right, everyone. That's the podcast. It's supposed to be 90 minutes when the conversation is good. We always go a little after. As always, yep. thank you all for coming out. This podcast has switched from Tuesday night to Wednesday night, so it will be permanently yes. Wednesday night. Our start time is always right around 630. Normally it's around 645 because we just want to double check that everything is good and audio sounds great. That's and if you ever have time, feedback, so we put names time, up, yeah. <laughs> we put names up. We got the number of the podcast up. So we're always looking for feedback. We even heard that people want to answer or we want to, people want us to take questions towards the end. So we're always listening and we always want to get better. So let us know if you've got anything. What we're going to do now yeah. is always for the last the hour Discord. is we are transferring over to Patreon, our bonus hour. If you haven't had a chance to join the Patreon, please check it out. It's linked on all my YouTube. Linked it's it linked over here on Twitch. Uh, for Patreon, you List. get the bonus hour, you get the blog post, you get access to the VIP lounge, you get a special title in Discord. And depending on the tier, we could stream together, we can make content together. There's a lot there. OK, so check out the Patreon. That's all I've got. You're yeah. all awesome. I'm going to give guilty. Last word. Good night. That's it. All right. Daft last word. Good night. It was fantastic. Uh, think about some questions. Ask us next week and uh, talk to you guys next week. That's it. We're yeah. out. Bye. <laughs>